Hey friends, it's Lukas from Vicoco, the vegan online cooking school. And today we're making a vegan mayo using chickpea water or otherwise also called aquafaba. So vegan mayo is actually super easy. All you need to do is get uh, aquafaba and I have about the size from one can or one bottle of chickpeas. And of course, I don't want to give you exact measurements here because the type of cans that you use, the type of bottle you use might vary depending on where you live. So just go with what you have from one can and then we will adjust the oil content accordingly. The cool thing about aquafaba, we actually talked about it in another video, is that it's perfect for people who want to reduce their footprint or their waste because basically when you make chickpeas or when you buy the cooked chickpeas already, then you always have to throw away the water. And now you have a use for it, you can make meringue, you can make mayo for example, and this is what we're doing now. So all you need to do is get all of the other ingredients that make the mayo flavor uh, and you add it to the aquafaba first. So I have a little bit of onion powder here, just a little bit, maybe half a teaspoon, and then a big pinch of salt. Then I also have some apple cider vinegar. I know some people like to use uh, lemon juice instead or other types of vinegar, but I personally like the taste of apple cider vinegar the most. And then I'm also adding in a tablespoon and a half of mustard powder. And this basically just ground up mustard seeds. So if you cannot find mustard powder, just get a spice grinder ready, for example, and grind up the seeds. And then you also want to add something sweet, not too much. Uh, so you could either add some sugar. I'm adding in some agave syrup in this case. And basically like with a regular mayo, first you want to blend it up using an immersion blender. And then slowly, slowly, slowly you add in the oil while you're blending until it gets thick and you have a nice little mayo. So now after basically five minutes of blending, the mayo is kind of thick. The consistency right now is perfect if you want to drizzle it over a salad or over a burger, for example. But if you want a more thick mayo, then keep adding in slowly the sunflower seed oil, for example, and then just keep blending until it becomes very, very thick. So that's it. You have a basic vegan mayo using aquafaba, so the chickpea water. So now you can also adjust it and afterwards you can add in some smoked paprika, some chilies, and you have more of like a chipotle mayo. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please let me know in the comments below and please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. If you're new to Vicoco, we are a vegan online cooking school where you can learn how to cook authentic vegan Italian, vegan German food, raw food, and much, much more. We partner with fantastic chefs from all over the world to bring you the best vegan online cooking courses. And you can try all of our courses for free for seven days. Simply head over to vicoco.com, create your free account, and you can start learning right away. All of our courses are 100% vegan, 100% delicious, and 100% family approved. Sign up today and boost your confidence in the kitchen.